Hi everybody, I'm Tara. I'm Elijah. From Crooked Row. And it's a gorgeous day. We have the sun out. <laughs> I'm very happy when it's sunny, aren't I? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and so the sun is out today. It is February 1st, I believe. Mm -hmm. And you might be seeing this on the, the that coming weekend. So we have taken a break from our seed starting things to bring you an update. Last year, we were trying different egg preserving methods. So I'm doing this early so that people can see exactly what we've experienced with egg preserving because we're all getting ready to experience that spring bump in our egg laying. And so last year, our big thing that we kind of did was liming. We limed our eggs and or egg glassing so so when you when you lime your eggs or do egg glassing you fill a container with water and pickling lime and then you just drop fresh clean eggs into that water and you store them in a container it doesn't have to be those great big canning jars that i did we also did them in this and we also did them in uh, three gallon, three gallon buckets. Three gallon buckets. <laughs> um, and the three gallon buckets did not prove good for us because like almost as soon as we started stacking, we started having broken eggs. But as I have realized throughout the year, you almost always end up having broken eggs. Ooh, it's bad. We're kind of afraid to open that jar, um, aren't we? Yeah. We're not looking forward to opening up that jar. But you have ones like this that turned out actually perfect. There's no broken eggs anywhere. If we were going to do this again, we would probably utilize these half gallon canning jars for it. The real test, of course, is to look at an egg, to pull, pull some eggs out of each of the containers and then crack it open. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So right now we're gonna pull from the good jar and in the lime water can actually aggravate your um, your skin or irritate it. So try to use a spoon or something to get it out of there. Okay, as you can see, uh, perfect egg. No smell whatsoever. It's not slimy. I mean, it's just a normal egg, right? Mm -hmm. Do you smell anything? No. Me and Elijah are the sn super sniffers in our house. Ooh. Okay, so right away, like you notice that there's there's no smell. The shell is good and intact. I mean, it's still like crunchy. It's It was hard to break open. Um, the white is runny and the yellow is runny. So that's that one. Um, I would like to break another one from the other container. Oh. Oh God, I smell something yucky. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. In this one, there is an absolutely putrid smell. Also, I didn't realize that one of the eggs was up out of the lime water. I'm gonna set that to the side because I don't really think that would be fair. I, ugh, I don't know if this would taint the rest, but let's check out and see. And I'm gonna use another brown egg so that it's most likely from the same hen and that way it's a fair test okay yeah that's oh it's just there's there's no smell to it um its shell was also intact it was a normal shell um and so that was that was good that was great Okay, now is time for us to open the yucky jar and we are not looking forward to this. Woo! Okay, <laughs> I don't wanna open it so bad. Oh God. If you've never smelled a rotted egg, then you have no idea why we're dreading this. It's so bad. People worry about their eggs going bad. Trust me, you know when an egg's gone bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't smell it yet. Oh, that one's just open. It looks like, yeah. Oh God, I'm 
gonna close this door. Oh, wow. Oh, good, now it's on my clothes. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. I mean, if you wanna know what rotted eggs smell like, it's far, far beyond dead fish. It's, it's horrifying. Now the shell is really, really hard, but as you can see, well, that actually is a little more, more intact. So yeah, I'll let, let, let you see. This, this yolk is a little more intact and the, um, the white is not as runny as the other ones were. That's kind of shocking. But my hands don't smell the best in the world. So the real thing here is going to be how do they cook up? Okay, we have the griddle all hot and I'm gonna do the first bowl uh, from the first container and just go ahead and cook that up and then it's going everywhere so I'm just gonna splash this up it is extremely watery so nutrition wise I'm not exactly sure what that means the second bowl and see how that cooks up. I'm gonna do a little further back. Still runs everywhere. Now for the egg from the Yoki container. <laughs> just fried those up and I mean they're super watery they're very watery they kind of like go all over the griddle and we know Elijah and I are pretty much the cooks in the house and you cook eggs almost every day don't you eggs aren't watery no <laughs> our eggs are never watery they kind of stay together and they're nice and beautiful and orange these kept color yeah they kept color but they're they were just very liquidy. Very liquid. And actually, the two containers that I'm saying are good, like this one and the white container, the big white container, those were more watery than the yucky container. Yeah. And so we were kind of discussing while we were cooking, we wonder if that's because when that egg busted, like fat got into the lime water and kind of put another protective layer around the pores and so it didn't degrade as fast. There's my scientific explanation. <laughs> um, but so, okay, we also, we kept these for a year, so we're not gonna eat these. I know people do. People eat them up to two years. Uh, with that one breaking open and this Cambro, oh, Cambro being um, kind of, questionable since that egg was sticking up out of the water um, and this one we're not gonna eat them but I feel completely confident feeding it to the animals don't you yeah I mean cuz be yeah I mean for goodness sakes they pick through poop so <laughs> I think they'd be Ew. okay with a questionable egg um, but no the the eggs smell fantastic well as fantastic as eggs can smell um, I mean it just smells like egg yeah it's egg and like this is egg. the bad egg, supposedly. Yeah. So it just, that one smells fine. It, it smells completely fine. Um, and I want to say this so that you don't get shocked. It's very normal for the eggs to start to form this white powder over them. Um, it's just the you can see the lime after they start drying. Um, now, as far as would I do this again? I would do this again for animals. Um, I, I personally would not do this as a preservation measure for us, unless it was only a couple months I was trying to do it for. Um, there's certain things I don't like about this, like I don't like that 
pickling lime can really irritate your hands, but you can put something that you would eat in it. That sort of bothers me. Um, I feel like some people have to do this. And, and I want to say something else too. We also kept ours in a very cool, dark place. Now, as I've said a bazillion times on this, uh, we don't have a basement. We don't have a cellar. We don't have any space. We have 945 square feet in our house with six people. So, so we don't have a lot. So what I, there is a tiny corner in my kitchen. Um, it actually takes all the wind and it stays really, really cool, especially in winter months, but it does in summer months too. Yeah. And it's completely dark over there. And so that's where we keep those. Um, the, so, so again, I would do these for livestock or um, cats or dogs. I personally wouldn't do it again for us. Again, unless it was a short period of time. Um, there are other preservation methods, like you can totally freeze your eggs and then thaw them out and use them in baked goods. Now, I probably wouldn't like make scrambled eggs with them. You can, they're safe. But I just mean like they, they start to, to the texture starts to change yeah and um so i i have also seen i have not done this method but i've seen people dehydrate them on their dehydrating trays you do have to be careful with dehydration though and eggs because you, they are sitting at a very questionable temperature so i would never do eggs that way i know there are people that do um but i just feel like it's not worth it to me i'd rather go without eggs um can't you also freeze dry them and that was yeah that was the last one and so my brother his uncle has a freeze dryer and and eggs freeze dry beautifully and so um with our excess eggs this year, we're probably gonna put a big portion of, over to my brother's house for the freeze dryer. And so, um, but the, all of these that we tested for the liming, okay, liming works, it for sure works, but I, you know, in a, in a very desperate situation, I would, I would eat these. If we were very, very desperate, I would eat these, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, we we do like if I think we didn't eat anything at that point, we'd eat bark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I mean, I mean, but like, like I also think that these are okay to eat, or we would not give them to an our animals. Like we desperately care for our animals, so we would not give them to our animals if we thought that they were bad. I mean, I'm kind of joking when I say they're questionable. <laughs> so, so that is our review on liming eggs. Um, and if you'd like to see us freeze dry or do another method, put it in the comments below because we love to kind of test things out, especially preservation methods. Um, because it's preservation. I mean, you can garden and raise animals all day long, but if you don't have great ways to preserve it, there was kind of no point to doing it. So for us, and so, so leave something in the comments below and let us know and let us know if you have done this or maybe we did something wrong and you can let us know, but. So remember, if we can lime our eggs, anybody can. Thanks, Thanks. Bye. bye.